Hello, this is Dave from Jaira. Welcome to this week's Thought for the Day, entitled Blessed. They say you should never do this, but I'm going to start with an apology. I'm sorry this is a day late, but whilst I was looking for good and interesting information about beautiful Wirral, I came across Don Wood, a local singer-songwriter, who's written some lovely songs about Wirral. I found a song I really wanted you all to hear, but realised I should ask his permission before posting it, so I sent him an email saying, Hi Don, I've been doing a thought for the week on a Wednesday during lockdown. Today I'm doing something on how blessed we are living on Wirral, and I wondered whether it would be okay to use your Wirral Splendour as a part of the thought. It goes out on the channel Jarrah Babington, which is the church where, along with my wife Kirsty and the community pastor, you can also find it on the Facebook page Jarrah at Home. The only comments I'll make about your song is it'll be promotional and complimentary, but of course I'm very happy to pay any royalties that may be due, although I've got no idea how that works. Please let me know what you think. I won't do anything until I hear back from you. Thanks, Dave. And this was his reply. Hi, Dave. Nice to hear from you. Please feel free to use the song in any way you wish with my compliments. As I always say, there are two places in the world, Wirral and everywhere else. Please feel free to use any of my songs anytime. Best wishes, Don. What a lovely response that was, and how blessed I felt by receiving it. And of course it was a lovely response. He's from Wirral. So now I have his permission, I'll play that song for you in a little while. Firstly though, I want to reflect on how blessed we are living where we do. I'm not going to go into stats or comments on Britain being one of the most desirable places to live in Britain, but I do want to take a quick look at some of the benefits we have of living here. Just look at this wonderful scenery. This is just up the road for all of us and easy to access. You can see wonderful views across Wirral and beautiful wild nature in the hedgerows. It's stunning. To be honest, it's how I meet with God mostly. I love looking out over a nice countryside or in the minutiae of wild flowers and wild life. Seeing God in creation, it makes me feel blessed. I think that as we look around us, we can see God at work, giving us a beautiful and wonderful world to look after and cherish. It helps me reflect on my responsibilities to help keep this fantastic planet thriving. Psalm 8 helps me reflect on my responsibilities. It goes like this. O Lord our God, the majesty and glory of your name fills the earth and overflows the heavens. You have taught the little children to praise you perfectly. May their example shame and silence your enemies. When I look up into the night skies and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you've made, I can't understand how you can bother with mere puny humanity to pay attention to them. And yet, you have made them only a little lower than the angels and placed a crown of glory and honour upon their head. You've put them in charge of everything you made. Everything is put under their authority all sheep and oxen and wild animals too, the birds and fish and all the life in the sea. O Jehovah our Lord, the majesty and glory of your name fills the earth. To see God in everything and my own responsibility in creation becomes like a prayer for me. It reminds me to be thankful for the good things I have, but also it reminds me of my responsibilities towards not only nature, but to others as well. I'm conscious as I record this that there are plenty of people who are not feeling blessed at the moment and my heart and prayers go out to them, especially at this time. Hinduism has a wonderful way of looking at the world around us. One of their holy texts, a yoga Upanishad, talks about how Brahman, or God if you like, is in and through everything in nature. It describes everything in the universe as being like a pearl and having soul or Atman. It says that Brahman runs through everything like a silk thread runs through pearls to make them become as one, like a necklace. I think it's a lovely way of viewing things. And this is the poem that says that. As the scent in the flower, butter in milk, 
oil in the sesame seed, gold in all, that is in all things. Yes, the world's innumerable beings are shot through with the soul like pearls pierced by their thread. Yes, the soul runs through the world's numberless beings as the thread through pearls, like the oil in the sesame seed, scent in the flower. The soul is where the body of man, which it envelops and inhabits. I quite like that. I think it's a nice way of seeing things, God in everything. As I've looked around and see the blessing of creation, the blessing of people and from people too, I'm overwhelmed by God's creation and the wonderful outpouring of human kindness and love. I feel blessed. And I want to leave you with Don Wood's song, We're All Splendour, played with his permission. And you can find more of his songs on YouTube or by CDs or DVDs on his own website. As you watch this and listen to the song, focus on how blessed you are. Please enjoy Don Wood performing We're All Splendour. Oh, 